celebrating 125 years of Mountaineer football. The old stadium today is something that, uh, for anyone who has spent any time there over the years, is probably uh, one of the saddest things you'll ever see. The seat boards have been broken by vandals, and uh, the general disrepair. The, all of these things uh, have a touch of sadness, I think, when you can remember the uh, Saturday afternoons when that place virtually exploded. West Virginia team, before the stadium was built, played on what was called the old athletic field, located where the Mountain Lair Plaza is now. It was enclosed by wooden bleachers all the way around. Well, Stansbury decided, uh, after the undefeated team of, uh, West Virginia's undefeated team of 1922, the, the uh, interest in the Mountain Air football uh, uh, became so great, so he started a campaign to build a stadium. Well, they built a stadium in, uh, in what was Falling Run Halla uh, on the uh, uh, west side of the Sunnyside Bridge. Uh, some of the dirt was hauled away by horse teams of uh, horse and wagon teams. The stadium was not filled for 30 years until the 1954 game with Pitt. The teams coached by Art Lewis in the uh, early 50s were, were great teams, had a lot of great players. Bosley was an outstanding blocker and an, out, and an outstanding defensive player. He, and he was quick and he was strong. He, he may have been as strong as, as any football player who's ever played at, at West Virginia. Sam Huff uh, wasn't quite as strong. Sam was a better defensive player than he was an offensive player. But he was quick and Sam was a great competitor. Great competitor, that's what made him. Worked hard, he, that's what made him the football player he, he was. Bobby Bowden was a sort of a bubbly type coach, very personable. Uh, you, you couldn't meet a nicer guy in the coaching profession. His teams could score on people. Well, the wildest game ever played at Mountaineer Field, of course, is the 63-48 uh, victory over Pitt in 1965. That set a national uh, collegiate record for total scoring uh, in one game. Alan McCune threw five touchdown passes in that, in that game, and Garrett Ford rushed for, I don't know, way over 100 yards. Well, the most thrilling finish, of course, is the uh, uh, the 1975 victory over Pitt, 17 to 14. Uh, the game was tied with four seconds left, and West Virginia has the ball. And a sophomore place kicker, Bill McKenzie, kicks a 38-yard field goal as time expires, winning the game 17-14. The fans rushed onto the field. The goal posts were history. They were gone in a matter of moments. And it was just a, a beginning of almost a week-long celebration in Morgantown. The old stadium is in the process of demolition. It's a sad thing. And I think for those of us who've had so many great days at Old Mountaineer Field, uh, I'll not go by there very often uh, during the demolition process because I've had such a time there that uh, probably the quicker it's, it's taken away 
and becomes a university facility, the new business and economics complex, the better for those of us who uh, remember it so well. <laughs> Sit home all alone If you can't come around At least please tell the phone Don't be cruel To who hard is true Baby, if I made you mad For something I might have said Please don't forget my past The future looks bright ahead Don't be cruel To who hard is true don't be cruel to who heart is true. I don't want no other love. Baby, it's just you I'm thinking of. Bill McKenzie is on. It will be a 38-yard attempt. The snap. McKenzie kicks it. It is long enough. McKenzie kicks it. It is good. The ball game is over. McKenzie kicks a 38-yard field goal in the final play of the football game. There's a mob seat out on the field. The Mountaineers, the Mountaineer fans, what a mob seat. You haven't seen anything like it. Bill McKenzie kicks a 38-yard field goal on the final play of the football game. Celebrating 125 years of Mountaineer football.